my, my main thing with Christians is to promote good relations between Jews and Christians. Okay. It's actually my intention with Muslims, but unfortunately, half the Muslims at the park um, have an, the, the opposite objective to me. Okay. Um, I've talked a lot, so please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And so, one of the things that I find very interesting, I think it's quite refreshing because you make distinctions between what theologians, what the church fathers, what the different schools um, interpret, what they introduce, and what is scriptural. Sure. Um, and I think that's a challenge for me often when I'm speaking to Christians. Like from a Jewish perspective, the reason I follow the school that I described to you before is I believe it's the most authentically preserved representation of what Moses so that they would stick have to what's there. Kind yeah. Of and I obviously Moses wouldn't Moses wouldn't recognize me today. Like if Moses were to come and see how I pray, what I do, most of what I do is post Moses. Mm -hmm. And we have a tradition, like I don't know how, an allegory, I don't know how you describe it, where Moses was at the back of the classroom of the, the rabbis of the academies I was telling you of. Okay. And he didn't understand what was going on. Okay. And he said, what's going on? And they were like, oh, uh, and God explained, oh, the, this is the law of, from Moses. It's Halakha right. Lamashim It's the law that you, and basically what we mean is that Moses, introduce the mechanism mm -hmm. for all of the types of innovations I've described. Mm -hmm. So we believe they're authentic. We believe we have a divine right to do these, okay. but we can account for all of it. Okay. We can go all the way back to the courts of Moses, of yep. Joshua, of the judges. Yep. Um, and so when I make an argument, I try to keep it within this tradition okay. and, and explain what, what is post Moses, what is post-Talmud, mm -hmm. uh, what is post Gemara, the Mishnah, um, what is not Kabbalistic, what is Kabbalistic. Um, and it's quite interesting because I think, first I think the New Testament itself is obviously an addition, otherwise I'd be a Christian. Well, I, yeah, certainly, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. It, it is. It um, is. That's what it's called the, the, the <laughs> New Testament, so yeah, um, and But I think most of what Christians practice, and I say this as a complete layman, mm -hmm. or not what they practice, most of what they believe, mm -hmm is post New Testament in the sense that it's trying to interpret and coming up with different explanations. And so like the Trinity is the one that fascinates me the most. Can I interject yes. very quickly? Please. So, so um, we, we hold yes that like the Old Testament, the New Testament is inspired uh, by God. However, we don't hold that it's very similar to example, the Torah, that it was like sort of like downloaded into um, Paul's mind and then given out from there. It's literally a book of experiences, like very similar to, um, like I guess, like, like the histories you would say yeah. in in the, the Talmud yeah. or the Tanakh. I, I, I always get those uh, mistaken. Uh, one has like the, the 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 songs, the history. Oh, okay, the okay. Yeah, we don't yeah. use it, but uh, yeah, yeah, the writings. Yeah, 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 the yeah, writings. Yeah. So it's literally historical accounts of things that were going on at a certain point in time, yeah. aka oh, the, 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 the very yeah. first century. So most of, of what you have, in, for example, the Synoptic Gospels are supposed to be. I think uh, the word is homilies. These were just songs that were sung about Jesus, about his disciples, about his teachings that were later then committed to writing. So yeah. the New Testament comes out of the church, not, not, not vice versa. Okay, okay, that's very, very interesting. Would you personally, not all Christians, do you believe that the first, the five books of Moses, the Torah, or the Hormuz, yep. do you believe that is the divine word of God? Okay, interesting. Now, when I hear divine word of God, I am stuck somewhere between the Christian understanding of what that means in terms of, um, of uh, inspiration, divine yeah. inspiration, and the literalistic Sunni idea that every single syllable is straight from the, the mouth of God. So I would hold that, um, uh, I'm going I'm to veer off slightly, sorry yeah. about this, but there's an understanding in the Vedic tradition uh, in, in, in India and in the subcontinent okay. that the Vedas are effectively a message from the divine yeah. that is given to a series of people and then they uh, they have the information downloaded into their heads and they simply write it in a manner that the common man of the time can understand. Yeah. I would say that that's more so what it is. I don't think every single syllable there is directly from God. I don't think God put the comma there or, or whatever it is. No, no, I'll but yeah. But certainly yeah. it is divinely inspired. Yeah. Without God, there would be no 
yeah. uh, no, 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 no Torah. But every single word there, I don't think it's directly from God. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah. within the Jewish tradition, okay. we believe the five books of Moses are from God. So yeah. literally every single word, every, every word is God is, writing. There is, okay. there is makloche, there is yep. a disagreement yep. on the very last few verses which describe Moses' death. Um, okay, and, some and, say and then that's Moses prophetic, died. Yeah, and right. some say it wasn't prophetic, that was um, finished by Joshua. Okay. So that's the only the, the, the vision within amongst Orthodox Jews. Okay. Um, so the, the, in terms of the traditional understanding, when it came to the, like, say, for instance, King David yep. and Psalms, yep. we believe that was a level of prophecy called mm -hmm. Ruach Kodesh, the Holy Spirit, okay. uh, which is interesting. Um, so and so, we believe that's one of the levels of it can be one of the levels of prophecy. Okay. Um, and so, what that means. That I think I'd be more comfortable saying, and any Jews in the, the comments, mm -hmm. feel free to correct me if you know better, but that would divinely inspire. So that's kind of what you were describing yeah. before. So I would, I would almost apply that understanding on the first five yeah. books. There are certainly parts where God is literally talking. So like and you say, the Ten Commandments. Yeah, be yes, example. yes. Yeah. So God is literally saying words, yeah. and those are being captured. So those we can say are the uh, literal word of God translated to, to a, a way humans can understand. Yeah. But then everything else is... I think just men writing history and understanding of history. For example, did it literally take God six 24-hour cycles to create everything? Uh, I've, I've heard that some church fathers hold that it was done instantly, instantaneously almost. And then the, the, um, the six-day understanding is a human way of saying, okay, there might have been some kind of like, like a um, phased creation almost. Yeah. But then it's what does Yom mean? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. What does they mean? Um, yeah, and, and then yeah. The, those, is it very similar to what the Muslims say? Where oh, that word is something only God knows, and where we can only interpret and, and postulate on, on what it means, or is it very clear what it's supposed I, to? I don't interpret? think it's very clear because I think there are different interpretations. Okay, um, of as there are with everything. What, uh, what um, the creation narrative mm -hmm. is therefore. Um, okay, that's very very interesting. So, I think one of our biggest departures, and maybe you could say that's where we could get into it. So for us, the, the simple Hashem Echad. Yes. Could that be, if from our perspective, yep. that's divine. That's like a divine instruction, a description. Descri description, yeah. A yeah. divine description. God yeah. is one. Yep. And so we are so, so careful not to create division. Sure. Um, and I know you're saying... It's, the, the, uh, uh, we don't, you, you but don't, then yeah, yeah. It, it takes a second to actually like... Because this is probably the first time you might be hearing this, this way of, of describing things. There's always better ways of, of describing uh, what God is or what we understand God to be based upon like language, education level, location, commonalities. And that's just how I understand this. I, I think the thing yeah. for me is the Torah, has, the, the Old Testament has to be universal. Yep. It has to be comprehensible for all generations. Yeah. And the concept of God is one is very simple. And I think all Jews through all time mm -hmm. Like, but as a majority, we've grasped that. And Christians don't hold uh, yeah. anything differently. Yeah. Uh, we um, hold that that's the same idea, that God is one. And but what does it mean to be one? So I think my question would be, mm -hmm. would you ever have arrived, maybe you could argue with your love argument you would, but do you think Christians would have ever arrived at a triune Godhead if it weren't for the New Testament? No, no, no. so the fullest revelation of, who, of the persons of God comes in the New Testament, but certainly there are indications of that in the Old Testament. Now, I know you said that, for example, the word uh, Malek or, or whatever word that was used yeah, for an yeah. angel, that there are different it's interpretations. Good memory. You can huh? remember in Hebrew, that's quite impressive. No, because no, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it's the same in, in the Arabic. Okay. I, 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 I've, <laughs> I've, had to, I've had to learn a couple of words uh, uh, that, that they use. So they will say Malaika. Okay. And then you say uh, Malek or, or yeah, Malik. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's one word. I, I can't remember a whole sentence, for example. It's, it's one word. Um, but yeah, essentially, we would we could make arguments from the Old Testament that you can see the Father acting, the Spirit acting, as well as as, as the Son being prophesied in Daniel or or, or Zechariah or, or what have you. But uh, yeah, that you, but you would probably never have got there, which is why no Jews did. There's no written evidence of a trinity prior there's, to there's, the, there's the there's the argument of of the the two powers in heaven uh, i don't know if you it, there's, a, there's a book written i forgot the guys and i can get it for you okay but basically i i wouldn't hold fast to this idea but it was just talking about some of the the diversity of thoughts in i think second temple uh, judaism yeah 
Uh, and I wouldn't hold that this is proof that, that there definitely were some Jews uh, who believed in like, like a trinity or whatever, yeah. like, like, like a pre-Christ. But certainly there was a deviation in understanding of what the underlying reality of God was. Did the first, my understanding is they didn't from conversations I've had and not learned mm -hmm. with other Christians, but did the first Christians believe in the Trinity? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes they did. So it's a guy called um, Alan F. Siegel and, and okay. it's like a two power of him. Name. You don't yeah. have to read it. No, no, you don't, I don't, you don't have to, but I'm just going to be saying that this is, this is like uh, what he compiles here showcases that, that, that it's um, almost uh, undeniable that there were discrepancies in understandings of the underlying reality yeah. of God in the Second Temple period. And we're, we're running over, aren't we? No, no, no. I, I, um, I heard my phone beeping. I was making okay. sure it wasn't my so, wife. So, so, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> no, no. so, when you were talking about the very first Christians, yeah. um, the, these, these would be the, the, the disciples, um, not only the 12, but there were like yeah. 72, and then like a further, like, like few thousand that heard his words and believed in him. Uh, certainly, post resurrection, they would hold that he was indeed uh, God on earth. But, uh, what about the Holy Spirit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Holy Spirit was, was also God. There's even a, uh, a quotation in the book of Acts uh, where uh, some people, some, some new Christians come to um, a husband and a wife. They come to the Apostle Paul and then they say that they've sold their house for an amount. But yeah. then they have lied about the amount that they sold their house for because uh, they were supposed to like, like deliver the amount into the church to help others. Uh, who, who, who were um, among them. And they lied about the amount, keeping some behind for themselves. And this is the kind of thing that Jesus Christ talks against, the idea of loving the world more than you do God. And then uh, Paul replies to them that you have not, uh, that you have not lied to man, uh, but you have lied to the spirit, you have lied to God. Okay. So the, in, in that sense, it's equating the spirit to be God. Okay. Um, Sorry. No. Um, Ruach is... I think describing it as an action is fine, but we would then would not make that and say that is distinct in the same okay. way that the prophecy that Moses received wasn't like the prophecy came from God. It wasn't a separate entity. It wasn't a person. Okay. It was what Moses received from God. So would you say, for example, so this is why we use the term distinction. So the prophecy came from God to the yeah. power of, of the spirits. Can we agree with that, with that sentence? From or, the power or, of the Spirit, not necessarily, not with Moses. Because um, um, we would say, Ruach HaKodesh, Ruach HaKodesh is Gideon, Gideon, for example. Is, oh, the, yeah. oh, Gideon, oh, Gideon, oh, Gideon, sorry. King David, uh, King Samson. David. Yeah. Uh, in in, in uh, the Spirit of the Lord rushed into Samson. Yeah. yeah. Samson, for example, right? We would say that there's a distinction here because uh, that power rushing into Samson is not the Father. No, but it's... it's if you're viewing it, and I have to look at what the, mm -hmm. the, the um, what the, the sages say. Um, oh, it's really sad. I it know, <laughs> yeah, this is very interesting. But. If, if we wouldn't say that the prophecy is a separate person, so when Moses receives prophecy, when they when they receive prophecy, they are tuning into a higher consciousness. They are tuning into something okay. that is from the divine, okay. but it's not separate from the divine, and okay. it's not distinct from the divine, and it's. So it's not separate, I agree, but it would be distinct in a way because it's not the Father. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know what that means. So, so, so when, when, for well, example... But we, we think that only is the Father. Okay, so that would mean that when, for example, at least in the, in the English yeah. reading of the Old Testament book of Judges, when it says that the Spirit of the Lord rushed inside Samson, yeah. that you could say that the Father rushed inside Samson. Because if the if the spirit and the um, and the father are not separate, I wish I agree, but also are not distinct, yeah. then that would mean that I, I heard you say once that you hold that like uh, God does not enter creation. Yes. So that would mean that there would need to be a distinction here between what is rushing into Samson and who the father is. So we're talking um, when we're talking. I think the way I view prophecy, and we may we might get rained off the move by the cameras. Yeah. Um, is prophets tune into something. So Samson, this wasn't prophecy, this was when, yeah, when yeah, Samson yeah. was fighting the Philistines. Let me, let me read exactly what it says, because yeah. I have to go to the Hebrew. Oh my, yeah, sure, go ahead, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let, let, me, let me get you the, my goodness. Should we go into that shelter? Um, uh, I'm yeah, genuinely uh, concerned about their cameras. I am too. Um, what a shame. This is a decent conversation that they got cut short by the rain. Well, um, we can continue. We could even go okay, to a coffee yeah. shop if you want to continue. We can, we can move the camera somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I think there's probably the best. Is it better here or am I imagining yeah. things? 
Yeah. <laughs> Is it better here? Like I think it's better here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's better here, right? This is the hottest summer the world has ever known. <laughs> well, if the, the heat isn't registering over here. Now they always say, in the thunderstorm, the best place to stand is under a tree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just hope no lightning follows. Yeah, yeah this is better, yeah. I think. All right, uh, okay, so you're there. I'll just do that. Yep, yeah, all good. All good. All good. Okay, let me let me get you the spirit of the Lord rushing okay. into Samson. It's it's definitely in Judges, but I just forgot exactly which um chapter. You need a black Hebrew is like to scream out of the pain. <laughs> uh, no, I'm 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 good. I'm good. So this is Judges 14, verse six. Are oh, you already there? Yeah, maybe, oh, nice job. Maybe, okay. Maybe. No, no, I was looked at it at the same time as you. Okay. Yeah, um, the spirit of God. Yeah, uh, uh, gripped him. Yeah. So. And he tore, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see, different. In, so. So, is that spirit of God, is that the Father? Because if there's no distinction, that means it's, they're identical. So. So, your question again, I just wanted to read um, it. Is that spirit being described, if it's not separate, which I agree with you? But it's not distinct. That would mean it's identical. It's so the same it as. Depends what you mean by spirit. So, what the 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 the, uh, the active power of God in the world. So is that the Father or is that something else? So, so for yep. instance, it will use the term ruach multiple times. I'm, I'm going to answer yep. the question. No um, It will use the word ruach in many ways. It will say the. Um, the rule of wisdom mm -hmm. um, was on Joshua. Yep. Um, it will say, and it will use the term to mean different things in different contexts. Mm -hmm. But we would never read that as a God okay. entering his creation okay. or entering a person. So that would mean that it would ha that the spirit is distinct from the Father. That, that's, that's, that's the takeaway because it's not quite identical. Only if you are saying the spirit is the father. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. So that, that I'm, my, my case is that the, the son is distinct because he's not the father, and the spirit is distinct sorry. because he's not the son or the Same father. Sorry. 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 No, no, my, no. It's, it's my no, fault. No, no, no worries. <laughs> a lot of my, my the Christian position. So I'm not saying my. Yeah. The Christian position, at least for the majority of Trinitarian Christians, yeah. is that the father is distinct from the son, yes. but not separate. In that he is, he, uh, he doesn't share the same underlying reality as the son, and vice versa for the son and the spirit and the father. They don't all share the same underlying reality. That's where the distinction comes from. But they are all one in that they are all God and they are not separated. In that same line of thinking, when you have the spirit or any of the spirits of wisdom, of truth, of God, if those things, as you said, are not separate from God, I agree with you, but the part I disagree with is when you mention that they are not distinct. So because a, if they are not, they're, not they're, they're identical. They're describing an action. Okay. It's um, so we see Ruach Hakodesh mm -hmm. as clearly. Bit, oh, you've just excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. My <laughs> goodness! What a day today! I might go home. <laughs> yeah, it's quite distracting. Yeah. Okay. Let me very quickly wrap it up. Sure, sure. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, you know, now. yeah. Um, um, we can carry on next time. Yeah, let, let, to, yeah. to be continued. Okay. Um, can you want to work for this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome, yeah, that's fine. Right. Thank I you. I really enjoyed talking to you. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that was lovely. Thank you. So I'm going to go. All right, cool. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Was, See you. Really enjoyed the chat. Love it. Um, right. So much nicer than when you debate with the Muslims. It's always so easy. Yo, see, so what I will simply say is you're not attempting to. Um, invalidate what I'm saying. No. You have an understanding and so do I and we're trying to come to grounds on this. Yeah, I'm just trying to let you Muslims don't understand. want that. Yeah. They'll, they'll tell me what the Bible says. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm saying it wrong. So that's all. Right, so all right. Thank you, by the way. Thank you. Have you, have you done a wrap up? Uh, it's, so, it's so bad. I can't do a wrap up right now. Uh, <laughs> like, like, okay. <laughs> Everyone, it is raining wait, 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 insanely. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. <laughs> No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, Every, it's raining like insanely. I had a conversation with Joseph about a number of things, yeah, yeah, yeah. starting with is the God of the Bible the same God as Allah? 
because often in this park, yes. Muslims will say they are. Yes. We discussed it and we came to certain conclusions and I tried to explain to him the idea of what we hold to be the Trinity and yes. confirm and also expound on some of the misconceptions that he has, yeah, yeah, yeah. such as God being separate and why God is three persons and, and not one. God. Hopefully he got that and yeah. then we'll carry on later, but it is crazy right now, I'm going to go home. Keep Joseph in your prayers. Amen. 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 Let's do it. All right. Well done, David. Awesome. Thank you.